Right, so there it is, people. Look at that. Looking beautiful, isn't it? Looking all right, Bobby Dazzler. So guys, welcome back to the channel once again, touching down from the good life in Chiang Mai City, Northern Thailand as always. And today we're out on a motorbike and a few more things have opened around Chiang Mai. And if you remember, I came to this place a long time ago in a vlog and it was closed. We're at the urban forest at the top of Hoi Khao Road. And yeah, it's open now and the waterfall is open as well, guys. So after this, we're going to go to the waterfall and then we're going to go to Doi Su Tep. And I know I'm not cycling on Black Beauty to Doi Su Tep, but we're going to take the motorbike up there and make an afternoon of it and show you what's open, show you what's going on, show you up around the waterfall and the top of Doi Su Tep. So this is the urban forest. It's a, it's a nice, nice park. I thought we would have a quick stop off here because the two times I was here before, it was closed. So you got Doi Su Tep here and Hoi Khao Waterfall just up here. And this is the top of Hoi Khao. If you go down here, you got Maya Moor. Um, I've got my mask, but I've took it off when I'm in here because no one's in here, man. And there's a lady at the desk. When you come in, you got to have your photo taken for some reason write your name write your number have the have the temperature test yeah so in here they've got you know they've got names of all the trees and all the plants and there's a small museum down there we will have a look in a minute i walked right past this gym i wanted to show you this so you can come up here and have a small workout as well if you wanted what i like about this gym is you got it's in a circle half circle so you could do a proper proper set routine as you go all the way around maybe do it two or three or four times you know do a rep on each do a set and some reps on each then move on and do do a circuit of two or three or four yeah so i'm out on a motorbike again today i had black beauty out yesterday guys the motorbike they didn't leave the parking spot yesterday i had black beauty all day and what i've realized already is how much cycling is hard work, man. I don't think I can go back to the bike after having the motorbike already, guys. Okay, it was a struggle yesterday and I didn't enjoy it. How I've done it for two and a half years, I will never know. But I'm gonna keep Black Beauty. So what I'm worried about is I'm already feeling lazy on a motorbike. It's, it's great having the motorbike, but yeah, you can slip into that sloth thailand routine so i'm gonna try and keep black beauty for sundays at least i'm gonna ride her on sunday yesterday i was out on her all day but i was knackered when i got home and i've only had the motorbike for a couple of weeks i'll just show you what they got here they got an exhibition building which i will show you in a minute hoi Khao orchard pavilion see they tell you the names of all the plants here nursery learning center yes yeah, so i don't want i don't want this place to be too much in the vlog i just wanted to stop here and start the vlog because i've been here two times before right and it was closed i wanted to show you before and if you live in maya or down near um niman road this would be a cool park to come to and chill out see so you got all the seat in where you could come and chill out it's all shaded with the trees what they've got in here is all the all the tourist spots around Chiang Mai, National Parks, Mei Ping National Park. And who knows, maybe I'll go to some of them now on a bike. That would be a nice place, wouldn't it? That place looks lovely. Mei Ping National Park. And I think I've been to this one. This the uh what was the Grand Canyon place? I've been to that one, I think. And Doi Intonon, I've been to this one as well. Doi Intonon, when I first come here many years ago. It's quiet, you can hear a bit of the road in the background. But it's, it's a good place to come and relax. Right, so down here, we have the museum if it's open. Gonna have a quick look 
I've been in here a few times before, it's not much of a museum. So you've got a small coffee shop here. And the end of it's open, now it's closed now, the coffee shop's closed. But at least the park's open, right? You could come down here and chill it. This is the exhibition building. The, the museum, this might be closed as well. But no, it's open. Just gonna have a quick look. Nothing major. So it's all about the plants and the trees. All the wildlife of Chiang Mai and Thailand, look. And all the weave baskets they make that you can buy in the markets and around the city I mean I did come in here and have a proper look when I first come here I've not been here for a while all about the bark of the trees yeah I mean it's, it's worth a look if you're if you're in Chiang Mai it's another place come and check out Just the insects or the plants. Yeah, that's it. They do the got the butterflies and things like this. I mean, lots of people are interested in these things, aren't they? Birds, wildlife. I'm not so much, but I know a lot of people are. And Chiang Mai is a great place for that, with the mountains and the jungle. So I think that's enough of that. You get the drift. I will pin the urban forest park in a location, guys, as always. And you can check it out if you want. We are right on Hoi Khao Road. So next stop, we're going out to Hoi Khao Waterfall. That has been closed for a long time. And yeah, there's a lot of water up there. There's a lot of water because we've had quite a bit of rain, actually. And we're hoping it stays like that to keep the burning away burning season's creeping up and the more rain we get the more the more it's going to put out the fires and keep the smoke down so hopefully going into february we will have a bit more rain i'll just show you out on hoi Khao. some of you might not know where we are this is the nice young lady on the on the desk she takes your temperature and you write your name down. Thank you, miss. <laughs> yeah, this is where we are. Top of Hoi Khao. So we're heading up here next to the waterfall. Then we're going to go right to the top, guys. We're going to drive the motorbike up. Check out Doi Su Tep. Hopefully it's a good view over the city today. It's quite a clear day. So we should have a good view out over. It's pretty quiet at the minute actually. That's good for me going up the hill. And look, here she is. Here's my little baby. She's looking good, isn't she? So I'm really getting attached to this bike now, guys. Uh, the more I'm riding this bike, the more I don't want the green one anymore. I really like the matte black. I'm, I'm starting to like it and she goes like a rocket. Here's my helmet as well, look, for all you saying I didn't have an helmet. Got me Valentino Rossi, 46. <laughs> yes, doing it in style, mate. Just a pity I can't ride like Valentino Rossi, eh? It's not the best helmet in the world, but I want to get a better one, actually. I want to get a decent one. All the ones you can find in Chiang Mai are the real cheap ones. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go up to the waterfall, and I'm going to show you around the waterfall. Right, so we have arrived. Touchdown Hoi Khao Waterfall. And it's back open. We're gonna have a nice little stroll up, have a look around. So we've got a few of the shops open as well now. Some of the gift shops, some of the tourist shops. And we'll have a walk up through. I was here a couple of days ago. Just to, I didn't know it was open, so it was good to see it was open. Hello. 
Oh, these were open as well when I came last time. A few of them are closed. Looks like only these two up here are open now. Hope you've got some food and get your drink. So this is what it's looking like now, people. This is what it's like now, people. Um, did it say, I'm sure it said only 50 allowed at a time. Yeah, it says up here. So you got to wear the face mask, obviously. Uh, closes at 4.30 p.m. You have to have your temperature, which is good. Yeah, no more than 50 tourists are allowed in Hoi Kao waterfall at one time. I mean, I was up here a few days ago and there was about 200 people in here. So, so yeah, take that as you will, people. That row just gets, no one goes by that row. There's probably more than 50 people here now. <laughs> Such a beautiful place. You've got running water. So I was up here on the weekend and there were Farangs or some bathing on here, sitting on here, chilling out, kids running around. That's why I thought it would be better to do the vlog on a weekday. So it's a lot more quieter here today and better. So we'll walk up, have a look at the waterfall, show you what's going on. Beautiful place, isn't it? So you're not allowed to bring any alcohol here. Just like the parks and the temples, can't come up here on the booze. For your safety, swim in designated areas. So you can swim here. I didn't think um, it was allowed, but you can have a dip. Never swim under the influence of alcohol or drugs. We wouldn't do that, would we people? Do not swim alone. Parents, watch your children, check your friends, all the usual stuff. So we've got a few tourists here. Look at the waterfall, it's looking amazing. Um, I've only seen it running water like this a couple of times over the years. It's normally bone dry whenever I come up here. It's just another day in paradise. Not a bad old life, people, is it? Can't complain. We used to chill out down here the first year I got here. Used to come up here, chill here. Yeah. There's the main attraction, there's the waterfall. Loads of water, we've had a lot of rain. We've got to walk up there, haven't we? Right, so there it is, people. Look at that, looking beautiful, isn't it? Looking all right, Bobby Dazzler. Not a bad old life. Got some people down there having a picnic. These girls who actually made it across. Ha 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 ha, yes. Ah, oh, so fresh standing here. Feels so nice. That cool air coming off the waterfall. Ah, oh, that feels so good. Nice and cool. This is why I like the motorbike. You could get here on a bicycle easy guys. You could ride here on Black Beauty, I could, no problems. I've done it many a times. But you just feel, you feel a lot fresher when you get here when you've got a motorbike or some transport. 
when you've pedaled everywhere and you're you're knackered before you arrive, you know, and it's just so nice having the motorbike. And yeah, we're gonna ride up to Goisuta. Uh, I rode the bike up there a couple days ago, guys, and yeah, I'm glad I never attempted to ride Black Beauty up there. <laughs> it is a long way. I, I forgot how long it was in a car or on a bike, and yeah, I definitely won't be riding a bike up there. I've got the, I've got the motorbike now, so I don't need to. I don't want to leave here. It's so nice. See, there is another waterfall up further. There's loads of waterfalls on the mountain. Anyway, I think we'll walk back down now and we'll get up the mountain. Try and get down without falling down. I was going to wear the flip-flops, so it was wise to wear the trainers today. Got the full kit on today, ready for action up in the mountains. But this is the way I used to come over and it's still pretty dodgy. You have to jump, you have to jump over this gap. I'll show you the gap in a minute. And yeah, this, this girl couldn't make it earlier on. You could jump it, no problems, but when you got a camera and things, you have to jump over there a little, or go over the log, jump down from there. When if you walk around here, just walk around a path, and it's simple, just come up this way. So I'll give you one more look at Hoi Kao Water Fort. Absolutely beautiful. Right, just gonna walk back down now, get the motorbike. These ladies decided to stay down the bottom. I think it's cool chilling here, right? Around this water here. And there's a better one down there. We'll have a quick look down there. But you could chill anyway around here. It's probably not ideal to chill up near the waterfall. You can walk down further as well. We're not going to do that today though. Got a cliff down there. There's all sorts down there. Nature trail. You can walk for ages. Do not litter. Alcohol not allowed. Fine. 1,000 back. Guys, leave that Leo at home. Save it for the evening. Right, let's get on the road, man. Let's get moving. Let's get up to Doi Su Bad Boy Tep. It's nice and quiet here today. I knew it would be on a weekday morning. You got a nice restaurant there overlooking as well. This is where a lot of people chill out as well. On the rocks here, where the sunshine is. You know us Farangs, like to sit in the sunshine. It's cool to chill out here, right? Bit of shade over there as well, you can sit over there, look. I remember I'd done a vlog up here in the early days, didn't I? I don't know what I was talking about up here. I was having a moan or something about, I don't know, it was one of the early vlogs. I, I remember doing that vlog. It's hard to think if I actually have done a vlog up here and I've done one time back in the early days. The pleasure to be here these last few years actually, it really is. Some people might think that's crazy, but for me, it's been great, it's been quiet. Um, it's not ideal for the, for the locals, we know that. But to have the city not overrun with people, it's nice, it's nice and relaxing. Uh, it's good to see it open now anyway. Right, we're gonna get off to, gonna get on the road and going to do some footage up the mountain but don't worry we're not going one-handed on the motorbike i've got the old chest strap today so we're going to put a gopro on the chest strap i'm going to show you some footage up the mountain i'm going to do the whole mountain but we're going to speed it up in this vlog so don't worry you ain't gotta 
weight to go up the whole mountain. I'm not sure what it'll take on a bike. I forgot. I think it's about 10, 15 minutes. Put the old mask on a minute while I'm going out. Sweaty cab. Sabadi mai. Nice and chilled here today. Not a lot going on. Got some food stores here, look. This lady selling sausages and fried. You can get your pork balls and your beef balls. You got small shops here where you can get all your snacks, get your drinks. And there's even a Restaurant here, look. You can probably get noodles, something simple, cow soy. Oh, 